hello everyone so let's discuss the last problem of today's weekly contest encrypt and decrypt strings so the problem states that we are given a, a key and a value array key contains characters values contain strings of length 2 and we are given a dictionary which basically notes the valid strings after decryption and uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to implement two function encrypt and decrypt uh, encrypt basically encrypts the string decrypt basically decrypt the string so the way to encrypt a string is defined by this and the way to decrypt a string is defined by this so to encrypt a string you take each character look at the keys array if it exists in the keys array then replace it with corresponding values for decrypting a string you take two consecutive characters uh, from the values uh, from the string that you want to decrypt and then look at that in the values and if you found uh, a corresponding match in the values array you will replace it with the corresponding key so uh, for example uh, let's look at this so let's say uh, this a b this this is the given string that we need to encrypt so to encrypt what we have to do is look at the and this is the uh, map like a corresponds to ei c also corresponds to ei and so on and so forth so we need to encrypt this so first is a so first a corresponds to ei so we replace it with ei second is b b corresponds to zf we replace it with zf Second, third is C, C corresponds to EI, we replace it with EI. Fourth is D, D corresponds to AM, so replace it with AM. So this is the encrypted version of this string. Now, the reverse operation that is decrypt operation, decrypt operation is basically let's try to decrypt uh, EI, ZF, EI, AM. Okay, so to dec the decrypt, op decrypt operations basically states that take two characters at a time look at it in the keys array uh, we have a, we have a found we have a match now replace it with any one of these so we can replace it with a or we can replace it with c now move forward we found zf zf is also there replace it with the corresponding character so it will be b and again the second string can also be b third is ei again ei corresponds to two characters a and c so uh, there will be like two strings possible from this a b a and second string is a b c and similarly from here two strings are possible because ei corresponds to two different well uh, two different keys uh, so c b a and cbc okay now the last character is am am is also a match it corresponds to only one character d so let's just append d at the end to all of them so these are the four uh, these are the four uh, strings that we can form by decrypting this string now we need to return the count of this there is a constant the constant states that like we have to just return the count which are present in the dictionary so this is the dictionary and you have to just return the count uh, of those decrypted string which are present in the dictionary so a b a d uh, is present in the dictionary so this will be returned a b c d is also present in the dictionary so this will be returned c b a d uh, it is not in the dictionary so it will not be written c b c d it is also not in the dictionary so it will not be written so the answer for this decrypting this string will be two basically there are two ways to decrypt the string such that it present in the dictionary so hope the question is clear now let's move forward to the solution so to solve this there is one important observation in the question which basically says that give you are given a character array keys containing unique characters and a string array value so basically uh, for every character there will be only one uh, matching 
replacement similar but, but the reverse may not be true like uh, for, for example EI corresponds to both A and C but A corresponds to EI and C also corresponds to EI C can't have two, two mappings because it is given that the key contains unique characters so with this uh, we can uh, we are sure that encryption encryption operation uh, will give us uh, one unique answer right so there will be only one unique answer for every encryption operation so what we will do the, instead of uh, uh, so first is like encryption of encryption encryption operation is very straightforward the not so straightforward thing is the decryption operation because we have to uh, evaluate lot of possible scenarios uh, as we have just seen a while ago so to handle that decryption operation what we can do is do the reverse so basically we have to return only those string which are present in the dictionary right so basically these are one of the decrypted strings so let's encrypt them so we, when we encrypt them uh, we are sure that there will be only one encrypt uh, one encrypted string for each of this right so let's encrypt each of them and this is the encrypted uh, uh, string for the corresponding words in the dictionary so after encryption we can just count the frequency of uh, each of these uh, encrypted uh, string so whenever we are given a encrypted string we will look at this and just return the count from here so because this is the encrypted version of every string in the dictionary we can just look at this and return the count so for example if we uh, like previous if let's say the we need to find we need to decrypt the string eizf eiam so for this we will what we will do we will just look up in this uh, uh, dictionary how many times this appears so basically eizf uh, eiam appears here eizf eiam appears here so basically abcd and abad these are the two uh, possible decryption of this string which are present in the dictionary so hope this approach is clear like this approach is very straightforward uh, before starting any like encryption option and encryption operation is very straightforward we can write encryption operation very easily for decryption operation we will just uh, uh, encrypt everything in the dictionary with uh, the encryption operation uh, and then whenever we received a, a key to decrypt we will look up at this uh, dictionary and return the count of corresponding decrypted uh, string so that is one solution the other solution to this is uh, so this solution is very straightforward and this is very fast enough uh, but other solution to this is also using try uh, so basically what we have done here is we have uh, optimized uh, instead of optimizing decryption operation we have just uh, used encryption operation uh, to encrypt the decrypted string as well so but instead if we have to find the actual count let's say uh, they want us to find the actual count of uh, decrypted string uh, then this might not be helpful so for that let's see another solution which is using try so let's say you build the try for uh, the given dictionary so this is the dictionary and you we build the try this is the root node and uh, like if you just remember the dictionary contains a b c d uh, so a b c d a c b d a c b d and so on and so forth so we build the try out of this uh, uh, dictionary now let's say we want to decrypt uh, decrypt something so for example let's say we want to decrypt this EIZF EIAM so how to decrypt this uh, we will start with whatever we are given like to decrypt what we have to do is uh, this operation like first check the substring and then uh, replace it with the corresponding key so we, so we see EI EI corresponds to A and C so what we will do we will move from the root like we, we are currently in the root so we will move from the root to A and to C 
okay now second is zf so again zf uh, is b so what we will do we will just uh, move this to b like zf is b right so from a this will be moved to b and this will be moved to b this which is here now the third is ei ei again corresponds to two character a, a and c so let's uh, uh, move them again so first let's move to a and we have to move another one to c right so that is so let's take on like we will build another pointer that will point to now c and similarly let's move it uh, move this pointer to c there is no c at all so this pointer will be destroyed now the next string is am am corresponds to d so let's try to move the pointers again so this will be moved to here this will be moved to here and at this stage we are at the end of uh, two strings in the try so the answer will be two so hope this approach is clear so basically after building the try we will keep maintaining a list of pointers and we will move forward that list of pointers as per the rule so let's uh, do it one more time for one more example uh, let's say the so let's remove all this sorry so now let's say the decrypted string is instead of this let's say the decrypt uh, we want to decrypt uh, f or maybe a a okay so let's say we want to decrypt this so we will again do the same thing we have ei ei corresponds to a and c so let's take two pointers first pointing to a second pointing to c then the second is zf zf points to b so let's move this to so let's uh, move this pointer to b and uh, let's move this pointer to b now third one is uh, aa there is no a in the uh, corresponding values array so we will just move both of them one by one with a so first we will move through a so we will move this with a and because there is no a behind so this pointer will be destroyed now second one is also a so we will just uh, move it we will try to move it to a but there is no a so this pointer will be destroyed so at this point we have uh, exhausted everything like we don't have any pointer in the uh, in our try so we will stop here and we will just return zero for this decryption like there is no possible decryption which is present in the dictionary so hope the approach is clear we just need to build the try uh, so just if we just uh, reiterate over the solution uh, we will what we will do is uh, build the try uh, encryption operation is straightforward and for decryption operation we will start with a list of pointers okay initially only root so initially our list uh, uh, contain this root only and then uh, we will keep on moving the pointers based on the values array so so this is the basic algorithm that we will apply so let's uh, see the implementation of this so what uh, so this is the try and this is a node that we have and this is the encryptor class so let's uh, look at the constructor of this encryptor first so what we have done is we have just populated key to value and value to key array 
uh, key map, uh, maps. So we have two maps, key to value and value to key. So key to value basically denotes uh, from key what is the value. So I initially populated everything with uh, the corresponding character. So A points to A, B points to B, C points to C. And now when I receive something, I will just populate it with the corresponding values. Now for value to key, I am just inserting the corresponding keys. And then I prepare the try and insert everything into the try. So at this till this stage, uh, what we have is we have this entire thing built with us and we have this map as well. So let's see how to decrypt. So encryption operation is very straightforward. Encryption operation is just uh, we take the result, look at the key, add it to the result and return the result. So that's the encryption operation. So let's look at the decryption of uh, decryption operation. Uh, so decryption operation basically uh, states that we will take a vector of node, which is the current roots, uh, current uh, pointers that we have. Initially, we have only root with us. So initially, this is our pointer. Uh, now, we will move for each character. We will prepare that uh, two length string. Okay. And we will find it in our values mapping. So we will find it in this map. Okay. And if we don't find it, if we don't find it, we will insert both the character one by one. So we will first insert current at zero, uh, and then we will insert current at one. Okay. Uh, so I think the test cases are weak, so that's why it was not caught. So that's okay. So we then we will insert current at one. So move forward is basically a function which will just move the pointers, move every pointers in this array one uh, position forward and give us uh, populate it in the new array. So basically uh, if our pointers is this and we are asked to move it by one position uh, to D, then the new uh, array will contain this pointers only. So this will be moved by one and because there is no D, this will be destroyed. So that's what move forward is doing. So we'll look at the implementation. So move, we will just, uh, if we don't found the mapping, we will insert both the character, first current of zero, then current of one. And if we do found a mapping, for each mapping, we will try to insert uh, that character into the uh, possible set of mappings. So basically, notice that we are erasing this uh, possible from here because we want to move forward one more position. But in here, we have to move the previous positions with one forward. So basically the difference is, uh, so the difference is, uh, let's say this is the two pointers, uh, or th basically this is the uh, previous pointers. Now, if we ask them like uh, to move, like, let's say that there is AA we got. So we don't find AA in the, uh, mapping. So what the first loop will do, the first loop will just uh, move this to this uh, and then found another A. So because there is no A, this pointer will be destroyed. It will try to move this to first A, there is no A, it will be destroyed. It will try to move this to first A, no A, it will be destroyed. Try to move to the first A, there is no A, it will be destroyed. So the first loop will return nothing. But if uh, uh, Let's say if it is uh, the second second loop, let's say the we have again this pointers with us in the first set. Now we want to move it to, we, we found this uh, ZF uh, or basically EI, let's say EI, we found EI. So we have to move by A and C, right? So what they will do, what the second loop will do is move this, uh, move this to A and again, this this will again be moved to C. So there will be one new pointer that will be formed. Similarly, this will be moved to A or C. So first A, A is not there. So And then it will try to move to C. C is also not there, so it will be destroyed. It will move to A or C. A is not there, C is not there, so destroyed. A is not there, C is not there, so destroyed. So basically it will give us this array. So that's what it is so basically that's why we are clearing this 
in the previous iteration and we are not clearing this and just appending to the original array. So after, at the end, uh, we are just uh, iterating over the possible arrays and see uh, how many of them are, uh, like how many of the pointers are at the end of the array. So basically it may happen that uh, the dictionary contains more characters. So let's say we are, we are like, we have these three pointers with us. We have these three pointers with us. So the answer will not be three. Answer will be only one because there is only one uh, pointer which is pointing at the end of the number, uh, end of the string. So that's why this loop. Now only thing that is left is this uh, move forward function, which is very straightforward. As said, with it is taking, it is moving forward every node in this previous nodes and appending to the current node. So we iterate over every node move forward it one position and if it is not null just append to the current nodes uh, the insert function is quite straightforward as we do in that uh, normal try uh, it is very straightforward insert function so hope the approach is clear uh, if you have any doubt in any of the approaches that we have discussed uh, please pin in the comment section below i will answer them if you like the content please like and give the channel a subscribe i will see you next week thank you